My name is Mustafa Ahmed, a uh, clinical assistant professor at CUCMP and work here at CLS Health. Today, we're going to talk about the sacroiliac joint dysfunction. So the sacroiliac joint is a joint that connecting the pelvis or the hip bones with the sacrum. And people, they have sacroiliac joint dysfunction, basically they have severe lower back pain and that pain is referred down to the buttocks areas and the posterior aspect of the thigh and also in the front in the groin area as well. Usually when a patient complain of that pain or when you're getting out of the car or getting into the car, sitting for a long time, standing for a long time or walking for a long time. So nowadays we do a percutaneous insertion. Basically it's just a piece of bone made like an outward shape and it's evacuated from the middle and then we fill up with the stem cell. And then basically we'll go posterior to here, we'll make very tiny small incisions in the office. And then basically we just dig in uh, to that joint and then place that device. So what that device do is open up the joint and that make the joint is not rubbing against each other and that create the first degree pain relief. The second one is a stem cell that we placed with that bone start to grow up south and north and actually fuse that joint and take about a couple of weeks. The beauty of that procedure is a one day surgery procedure as the patient come in and out. It take about 45 minutes to be done and then can be done now in the in the clinic. Does not require general anesthesia. All what requires is just a local some sedation uh, during the procedures. And after that, the patient get out of the bed walking right away and he can practice all his activity except some limitation for going upstairs, downstairs until full fusion happen to the, uh, to the joint. Uh, very simple, very straightforward. Once we get the diagnosis and we know the pain generator, fix the joint, and then the patient has a pain relief, prove his daily activity and quality of life.